How's it going guys? This is Daze and today I want to show you guys how you can test your ping in game using ExpressVPN. And the game I'm going to be using is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege as you can see. Now I'm going to pick whatever character here. Um, I do actually play Hibana usually. But the cool thing about Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is uh, it actually gives you uh, a good estimation of your ping right here right here where you can't see anything right now because I'm in game. So my ping at the moment is uh, in between let's say 68 and 72. Let's just average it average it out uh, at that. Mm. I'm in game at the moment in this you, you see yeah 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. That's about the average ping for me. Now granted I'm, I'm, I'm connecting to uh, European servers, North Europe uh, and I am located in Lebanon, so I'm not too far away, but I'm not that close at the same time. So I'm gonna quit. I'm sure my teammates can handle it. I'll just giving you right, right here, North Europe, 75 milliseconds. So 75, give or, give or take. Uh, in this case, take about you know three to five uh, milliseconds, and uh, that's that's my ping pretty much. Um, now. This is without using a VPN, okay? And we're gonna quit the game here. And I'm gonna show you the test results without a VPN. So I got seven ping, 12.59 of download megabits, megabits per second, and 0 0.81 of megabits per second. Now, I'm gonna, put that, I'm gonna put this on the side, and I'm going to quit Steam and I'm going to show you what you can do, what you, what you can do here on ExpressVPN. Now, uh, there's a very cool feature with ExpressVPN called Speed Test, and I've already run the test here. And what this does is that it gives you the best available servers depending on your location. Uh, let's say you're trying to go, you're trying to download something, and you know you want to use your VPN. Um, it seems like the best download uh, server here for me is Italy, Milan and or actually it's actually east london actually 11.93 uh, where it's just 11.3 here so if i'm looking to download something i'm gonna head to this server okay east london but if i'm trying to play a game i'm gonna look for the lowest ping possible which is italy milan in this case now if you remember in tom clancy's rainbow six siege it was at 75 uh, milliseconds in game obviously give or take zero to five uh, milliseconds now, I'm gonna show you guys here how uh, accurate actually this speed test here in, uh, uh, what's it called, in ExpressVPN. Now, I'm going to connect to Milan, okay? And I'm going to bring this over right here and give it a go. Okay, so pretty accurate it seems like. So we're looking at, here we are, 51, what was the speed test, or what were the results? Oh yeah, you, you, can't, uh, you can't speed test once you're connected, but it is pretty accurate. Um, the download and upload speeds will vary with each test, so uh, keep that in mind. But we are looking at the ping here. So yeah, uh, it gave me like, 52, 53, or 51, something like that in the speed test in ExpressVPN, and it gave me something incredibly similar here. Now, we're going, I'm gonna put this on the side on my other screen, and uh, we're connected here to Italy, Milan, which is the best server available in terms of ping, and I'm gonna connect my Steam here, and I'll see you guys once I'm in game. Okay, so now that we're in game uh, in the Italy, Milan server, 84 milliseconds. Okay, so we had 75 milliseconds without a VPN, and with the best available connection and latency available on the VPN, on ExpressVPN, it's 84 milliseconds here. Okay, so realistically, give or take, it seems like we have, okay, I'm gonna mute these guys real quick, we don't need that, um, 72. So this is about as close as I can get to my original ping which, was, which is pretty impressive. Uh, it seems like ExpressVPN does really uphold its uh, sort of standards for speed here. Uh, that is pretty impressive for sure. 
Now, I'm going to wait until I get into the game to see what it's like. Because uh, once you connect, it you know, kind of settles in and you get more accurate results. So here we have it. 75. 75, 76. Okay, so it seems to be very, uh, very accurate what it gives us uh, outside in the uh, right here, uh, in, in the settings part where it gives you in the main menu. Now, so that's about a five ping difference uh, with ExpressVPN as opposed to without uh, the VPN. Now, I'm going to return a main menu here and try to give you guys another example. Now, if you remember, hold on, there we go. So 84. So without a VPN, it was 75. With the VPN, it was 84. But realistically, in game, it was about 75 as well, which is not that big of a difference when uh, playing a game. Uh, about two to three, four, five ping difference between uh, with or without a VPN, with and without VPN. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to quit the game and quit Steam as well because we're gonna need to, I wanna show you guys how it looks like on another server. I'm going to disconnect in just a second. Now the last speed test we did, it gave me, so what is, what is the second best server in terms of ping? France, Paris one, okay? So uh, I'm not looking at download speed here, okay? I'm looking at latency. And there seems to be one, di one millisecond difference. Uh, yeah. We're gonna actually connect and see what it looks like in game. <clears throat> I'm also going to show you guys right here what the uh, ping looks like compared to the speed test in ExpressVPN and how accurate it is. Okay, so here we go. Wow, the same ping that ExpressVPN gave us. Pretty accurate on ExpressVPN side here. Uh, very nice. So, uh, don't really care about the uh, download and upload speed. Uh, as I said before, these will vary from test to, to test. Even if, I, even if I run it again here, it's going to give me a different number. Slight different number, really. Um, so, not that much of a problem. Uh, so. It was 53 or 52 uh, from in Milan's server and 54, uh, as you can see here, in France's server. Now, I'm going to put this on the side here and I'll see you guys when I'm in game. Okay, guys, now that we're in game, check this out. 92 milliseconds. Now, this is in line with the speed tests that we ran in speedtest.net and ExpressVPN speed test. Uh, it did give us a slightly higher ping uh, with this server, the French server. Now, we're gonna check it out, what it looks like in game. If I hit tab here, uh, wait, it's it's still loading in actually. Uh, give or take 10 ping, I imagine it'll be around 85 or 80 ping, something like that. Uh, now, obviously, I wouldn't play on this server, but I'm just doing it for accuracy's sake to show you guys that ExpressVPN is pretty accurate when it comes to this stuff. There we go, 86. 87, 86 ping. So yeah, this is in line with the tests that uh, we got from uh, from Express VPN speed test. Now I'm just gonna wait a little bit until I'm in game to see what happens. Um, usually the ping uh, stabilizes a little bit more when you're not uh, loading. There we go. There we go. So it seems like it will be stable around 85, 80, 90. Okay, okay, okay. So, you guys get the point, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm sure they can do just fine. They're already winning. That's about it, really. I just wanted to show you guys uh, how you can use ExpressVPN uh, with just testing ping and all that stuff. I'm going to disconnect right now. That's, that's okay. Just quit Steam and quit Ubisoft. I'm going to disconnect and go back to the results that speed test, uh, the, the ExpressVPN speed test already gave me, which is the lowest latency I can get is from Italy, Milan, and this is where I'm going to connect to continue my game. Uh, besides that, I hope you guys learned something, and if you did, please let us know in the comments below uh, 
what VPN you use, maybe, or maybe if you would like to actually get uh, ExpressVPN to use it for your gaming experiences, maybe, maybe you've had enough of DDoS attacks in competitive gaming or something like that. So uh, I'll link all the best offers down below. And if you have any questions, please ask us in the comments. Liking and subscribing would let us know if you actually appreciate this kind of content or not. So uh, do express your intentions and feelings about how you feel about this video. Anyway, I've uh, rambled enough. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.